Uh, while most are enjoying the Thanksgiving feast, it's not a reality for many homeless people, and that's why the Pavarello House is stepping up, providing that home-cooked meal that they say everyone deserves on this day. CBS 47's Ben Morris stopped by for the traditional Thanksgiving lunch that dates back 49 years. Who doesn't love turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, and you can't forget the pie? It was all in store for those lining up outside the Pavarello house this Thanksgiving. A lot of these folks don't have a place to go. We try to bring that to them, that home atmosphere, and to come here to eat, sit down, enjoy each other's company, and just, you know, make them feel like they're, they belong. Over the course of the week, between two and 300 volunteers have been helping prep the meals here at the Pavarello house, many of which, both young and old, showing up as early as 5 this morning to help out. It makes me feel happy and that we can do something for the homeless. It's the effort of those just simply looking to do some good that pays off for so many. Stack says today alone they were expecting to serve around 200 people here, but it doesn't end at the Pavarello house. As he says, they're sending an additional six to 800 meals out to those in the community, so as many as possible can get that Thanksgiving experience. I'm thankful for the community that makes this happen because we couldn't do it without the donations and the people come down here and help. And it's just a real pleasure being able to work here and do that, the, the work for them. Volunteers helping to showcase what the Pavarello House is all about. Life skills is what we try to do. So again, if we could shut down tomorrow, it'd be great. I don't see it happening, but again, that's what we're, we're striving for. Get these folks off the street and get a real life going again. Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.